All right, so we got the Four of Pentacles. Some of you may have been holding on to your money or being a little concerned about finances. Um, how you're going to make your money, what's going on, trying to look at where you're going to put your money. Um, but you may have been feeling a little bit concerned around the financial money area and you've been kind of just holding on to it tightly or maybe afraid to spend it. But don't, the more you put out, the more you get back. Um, so don't have any fear surrounding money if that is the case. Next, we have the six, or I'm sorry, the eight of cups, but it's in the reverse. So something that you walked away from that you were totally emotionally invested in or someone that walked away from you that you were totally emotionally invested in, it looks like they may be returning now or this idea. Okay, now remember these are general readings, so it's different for all of you. Um, some of you, you could have emotionally invested a lot of time in something, a project, and you just gave up on it and were like, it's not going to work out or, or you just stopped or whatever, life got in the way. You may be revisiting that and wanting to restart that, okay? Others of you, this could be a particular person that you were heavily invested in, okay? Because next we got the Four of Wands and this is an, a serious commitment, okay? This could be marriage. It could be a wedding in tarot it's wedding a commitment marriage happy home happy family um but it could be a wedding also so some of you may have walked away from someone you were emotionally invested in or they were emotionally invested in you vice versa it looks like somebody wants to return here to start something serious okay or maybe you want to start something serious with this person Tell me more. Yeah, because we got the justice, which is about trying to make a situation right. Somebody actually evaluating the situation and thinking, maybe I screwed up or maybe I did the wrong thing here and I'd like to do the right thing. So whether it's you or them wanting to do the right thing about this commitment, this partnership, this relationship that somebody definitely walked away from. Okay, maybe thinking the grass was greener for some of you, others of you, it's just an emotional investment where it kind of reached a point where one person walked away, but now that it's in the reverse, it's definitely about somebody coming back, wanting to make things right with you. What else do we have for Sagittarius? So then we got the Four of Swords, which is about contemplation, meditation, taking a time out, needing some rest. Some of you need a time out. Some of you have been taking a time out. Take it how it resonates, but this is definitely about contemplating things or meditation. Some of you may need to get into some meditation. I feel like some of you may need some meditation or to start meditating is what I'm getting. But I also feel like some of you have just been reflecting on a lot of things here, reflecting, taking time out, a lot of, you know, really, really needing to just stop and take a look at things, okay? Taking a closer look at things. Yeah, because we do have the Four of Cups, which is waiting for something to come in, waiting for someone, waiting for something, okay? Um, it's also indicating, and when I'm getting it with this Four of Swords and the Four of Cups, it's like contemplating the one. I know I kind of got this last time, but in traditional tarot, this has the hand of God handing a cup to someone and them reflecting on all the things that went wrong instead of acknowledging this cup. I feel like you guys are going to be given something that you need to actually look at closely, okay? An offer will be made, an offer of some sort. Some of you may have been waiting for this offer to come in, and you're being told not to look at everything that went wrong, but look at the new opportunities coming in, not to feel remorse, regret, or sorrow over things that spilled over, but to look at the new opportunities come. Don't miss new opportunities due to things that went wrong in the past is the message I got from that for whoever that resonates with. Um, 
It's like an opportunity is coming to you. An offer, an opportunity. For some of you, it's a relationship. For some of you, it's... Some of you, it's an... It's something that I just see like some of you, it's a delivery. Some of you, it's a message. Some of you, it's something that's just being, that's coming to you. It's coming to you in a array of different ways. Okay. Now we got the three of swords and I was going to flip it because I pulled it up this way and this is in the reverse. So some of you have some, you've been feeling some sadness. Some of you have been through some betrayal. Some of you, this is the card of heartache, okay? It could be sadness, heartache. It could be three different situations for some of you. Some of you, it could be a third party situation. Some of you, it's just, you've been, you're missing something. So the message here that I'm getting is some of you have been contemplating what opportunities you might have missed out on or you're not seeing the things that are coming through because you're focused on the negative. This is for some of you, okay? Some of you have been reflecting on heartache. Some of you just really want love. Some of you have been thinking about... I just heard there's someone that some of you really want. This is also not wanting options that you got and there's one that you're waiting for. And I just heard some of you, some of you are waiting on someone that might have hurt you, okay? Others of you, you've been reflecting on, on this situation, okay? You've been reflecting on why you don't have love. You want love. You want a relationship. It's been bothering you. It hurt. It's just, it's your heart space area, okay? Some of you know exactly what you want, some of you, and it's funny because I got this in your last reading, there's there's contemplation big time going on, maybe reflecting on heartache, maybe reflecting on why you don't have love, maybe looking at, for this is for those of you that resonate, those of you that are happy in a relationship, congratulations. This is not everybody, okay? This is just somebody definitely that's been reflecting on some sort of betrayal, some sort of heartache, some sort of disappointment and wanting something to come through or come in. Now this could be from a particular person or just in love in general, or you've just been thinking about a particular person that hurt you. Okay, so what's coming out of that? I don't wanna leave it there. So we got the Ten of Pentacles next on that, which is positive news coming through. There's big money opportunities here for you, Sag, and stability and happy home and happy family, everything. The Ten of Pentacles is literally, you know, having it all, okay? And it's coming through on that, and it's telling me just stay positive, stay focused. Stay focused on the money right now. Stay focused on the money because money's coming and the money and the security, even though it doesn't replace love, we know that, but it definitely helps you because we got the four of pentacles being concerned about money. So this is actually really good news because it looks like money's gonna be really good for you coming in, focusing on your money, focusing on work, okay? Instead of focusing on this, this isn't gonna get you anywhere, but this will. And it looks like some of you might be getting a payout, a cash payout, um, a raise, money coming to you from something. However, you're going to be financially good, okay? So you may be in this place now, but over the next two weeks, you're going to be here, okay? So stay focused on that. Stay focused on the positive things. Those of you that have been contemplating love or a relationship that has hurt you in the past, for some reason, that Ten of Pentacles is coming in, and it's saying... You're going to get somewhere because you got somebody coming in. I was I was feeling this because I was like, it's like your heart space is drawing in your soulmate, okay? And that coming in with the Ten of Pentacles, you guys have a very strong possibility of meeting your soulmate. If this person was the person, your soulmate, that actually ended up hurting you, that you've been contemplating, you might have been energetically drawing them back to you because I see you coming out. Now, for some of you, it may not be necessarily by the end of this month 
but definitely by November, maybe December, you're going to be in this place. Okay. This is you with your person. This is you finding a, you know, a, regardless, this is a, either a soulmate or an amazing business partner that's going to bring you into the money. Either way, because this is typically a soulmate card and it's coming in after the heartache one, I feel like you guys have a strong possibility of meeting somebody that's really good for you that you are going to move in, have a happy home, happy family, happy everything with. And it looks like you've been, you've been, for those of you that want this one, okay, and you've been thinking, spending a lot of time about this one, they're coming in. You've been drawing them in. Wow. Now this could be a person from the past or some of you, it's a brand new person. Okay, so keep your eyes peeled for that, Sag. What else? Now, some of you, because we had somebody that walked away, definitely have somebody coming back that wants to make it right with you. So if this is that, if this is this person, okay, others of you, it might be a totally new person. What else do we have for Sag? So we do have you working hard towards something, okay? And you're gonna be getting results from that. This is definitely about refining, perfecting. You know, when you start something new or when you start projects or when you work on projects, we put them out, we can have a bunch of things going on. This is about refining it and perfecting it. But it also means that your hard work is going to pay off. And you're being told to let go of some baggage here and just take a risk. Just let go, be free move forward take a leap of faith on something let's take a look i think it's just in general getting out of this place right here too just in general you don't want to stay there definitely nobody wants to tell me more about the full card it is about taking a risk they say taking a risk can be foolish you got to watch out for falling off the cliff but i don't believe that i believe the universe supports you when you take that leap of faith you guys know that better than anybody being a Sagittarius. Take, to take a leap of faith towards the big money. This is the Ace of Pentacles, starting something new. So whatever projects you're working on, just go for it 100%. This is go for it. You will see rewards. You will see rewards if you just do it. Just do it. Okay. All right, Sagittarius. Um, let me see what I got for the Moon Phase cards for you guys. This is just a short reading, okay? So these are some of the things that were just coming up or messages for you. Tell me any messages for Sagittarius from now until the end of the month. So we got emotions are running high, Sagittarius. Some of you are really feeling it. Some of you are really feeling emotional, okay? Um, this was about the super moon too, so maybe something happened there for some of you. Or perhaps the next one is relevant. See how it resonates for you. You're getting told to look at the bigger picture. Look at the big picture. Sometimes we pay attention to all the details, but once you visualize where you want to be and look at the whole thing, that's how you start the details start filling in. Okay. So definitely visualize your big picture. And then we got, don't let your past hold you back. This is the South node in astrology, which indicates past lives are past our past. And the North node is usually the other way around focusing on the future. So you don't really want to do either one of those. What you really want to do is stay in the present, but dream of the future, like imagine your future, but don't let the past experiences, things in life, whatever they may be, these types of things, feeling like that hold you back from moving forward. Okay. This is just a message. I'm not saying you are. These are just messages coming through. Don't let your past hold you back and don't stay stuck in the past. Always move forward to the future. My friend used to say, your eyes are on the front of your head, not on the back. Look, look forward, go forward. And then we got luck is on your side. And it is, this is your sign Sagittarius. Okay, Jupiter rules Sagittarius, which is the planet of luck. So if you just kind of tap into that lucky, fortunate, happy energy, you raise your vibration, get up there. You'll start seeing great things happening by just staying there. So luck is on your side, believe it and you will see it. All right, Sagittarius, thank you so much for joining me for your mid-month update. I will be doing a, um, a love reading also. 
Um, I'm sending you guys all the best. Again, thank you so much for all your love and support. I appreciate you all. Until next time.